Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important property of dot product that is the distributive law for a dot product, right? So in our earlier video we have uh, discussed the uh, associative law for uh, vector addition and in this session uh, we are going to prove or derive the distributive law for uh, scalar product, right? So let us start. So now consider three non-zero vectors. Suppose the vectors are a vector A, vector B and a vector C, right? Then the distributive law for uh, dot product, it says that uh, if we uh, wish to calculate the dot product of vector A with the sum of the vector B and C, then uh, the dot product of these two vectors is given by uh, the sum of the dot product of vector A with B and then uh, the dot product of vector A uh, with vector C, right? So here we can see that this uh, vector distributes over uh, the sum of these two vectors and that's why this law is known as uh, distributive law. Right? So a dot uh, b plus c is given by uh, a dot b plus a dot c. So here uh, we'll see how we can prove this distributive law uh, with the help of uh, a diagram. So to prove the distributive law, uh, we'll make use of an important concept that is called uh, projection of a, a vector on another vector. Right. So let us quickly discuss the concept and then we'll apply this concept uh, to prove this result. Right. So let us consider two vectors A and B. So here uh, we have this vector uh, say A and let us consider another vector. Uh, this is vector uh, B. Right. So here we have vector B and here we have vector A. And let us consider uh, the angle, say, uh, theta uh, between the vector A and uh, B. So whenever we uh, draw a vector, then a vector has uh, two points, right? The first one is called the uh, origin or the uh, initial point and the end point is known as the uh, terminal point. Right. So for this vector A, the initial point is O and the terminal point is A. For vector B, the initial point is O, the terminal point is B. Right. So now if we uh, draw a perpendicular from this point, that is the tip of this uh, uh, vector B. So from here we draw a perpendicular. So here we have this perpendicular and let us call uh, the foot of this perpendicular as uh, P. So now let us apply some trigonometry to uh, this triangle that is triangle OPB. And here uh, this triangle OPB is a right angled triangle, right? So here uh, the uh, cos theta that is cosine of theta is given by uh, um, this is the base and this is the uh, hypotenuse so we have op over ob right and remember ob is the magnitude of this vector uh, b so here ob can be written as the magnitude of vector b so we have uh, here op and then here we have magnitude of vector b. So now multiplying uh, cosine theta with uh, the magnitude of vector b, uh, op is now equal to the magnitude of vector b and cos theta, right? So if we simplify the notation, then uh, we can simply write b for the magnitude of a uh, vector b. Right? So these two notations uh, may be taken as equivalent notations. So here uh, we can now write OP is equal to simply B cos theta. Right? So this length OP is known as the projection of vector B on vector A. Right? So OP is the 
projection of vector b on vector a so the projection is given by b times uh, cosine theta where b is the uh, magnitude of the vector whose projection is required so here we have b and uh, the cosine of the angle between the vectors a and b so for projection of a vector uh, we have this result and now we'll use this concept uh, to prove the distributive law so now consider three vectors vector a b and c and here we can draw uh, the three vectors so suppose this is uh, our vector a right and let us uh, draw the vector b so suppose this is our vector uh, b and then uh, we have the vector c like this right suppose this is our uh, vector uh, c so this is our vector a this is vector b and this is vector c so now consider this point as o and now uh, to prove this result let us consider this uh, left hand side right so our left hand side is given by vector a and we are taking the dot product with uh, b plus c right okay now consider uh, this vector that is the sum of vector b and vector c so here we can uh, use the triangle law of vectors for vector b and vector c so here we have vector b and here we have vector c so the resultant of vector b and c uh, or in other words the sum of vector b and vector c is given by this vector right so this is uh, due to the uh, triangle law of addition of two vectors right so we have uh, the sum of vector b and vector c is given by uh, here we have vector ob for vector b and uh, bc vector for vector c and the sum of these two vectors is given by uh, vector oc right so here uh, we can now write a dot uh, oc vector right so now here we have the dot product of two vectors and here we can simply apply the definition of dot product of two vectors so here we have uh, a dot vector oc so this is magnitude of vector a magnitude of vector oc and then we have cosine of the angle between vector a and uh, vector oc so let us take that angle as theta right so see here we have uh, oc vector this is oc vector and this is the vector a so the angle theta may be taken like this right so this is the angle theta between the vector a and vector oc So now let us simplify the notations so we can now write uh, the magnitude of vector a as simply a uh, magnitude of uh, a vector oc as simply oc and here we have cosine theta right now let us apply some trigonometry right so let us uh, draw a perpendicular from c to vector uh, oa right so here we have 90 degrees so uh, this point may be taken as point l right so cl is perpendicular uh, to a vector a right so now taking the triangle uh, o l c right o l c and here we can apply the definition of uh, uh, cosine theta so cosine theta can be written as uh, the base is uh, o l so here we have ol and then the hypotenuse is uh, oc right so here we are taking the magnitude only so we have uh, cos theta is equal to ol over oc 
So from here, uh, OL is equal to OC times cosine theta, right? And here we have OC cos theta. So we can now replace OC cos theta by OL. So here we have A times OL, right? So now here it is important to note that this OL, this OL is the projection of vector OC on the vector uh, that is A, right? So OL is the projection of vector OC on vector A, right? Okay, so now let us draw another uh, perpendicular from uh, B to vector A, right? So let us draw it like this. So here we have 90 degrees and let us take this point as point N, right? So uh, BN, BN is perpendicular uh, to vector A, right? Okay. So now uh, let us take uh, this expression that is the product of the magnitude of vector A with OL. Now let us uh, split OL as ON plus NL, right? So here we have ON plus NL. So here OL is the segment and we are uh, uh, splitting this segment OL as a sum of uh, uh, ON plus nl right so now so now we can apply the uh, distributive law for the numbers so here we have a times uh, on plus nl because a on and nl are the numbers right so here we have a times on plus a times nl so now here we have two important numbers, right? See, here we have ON and here we have NL. Now consider first this ON. Now ON is the projection of this vector OB on this vector A, right? Because we have just discussed uh, the concept of projection of a vector on another vector. So OP, this OP, is the projection of vector B on a vector A, right? So OP is given by B times cosine theta. So B is the magnitude of this vector B. So here we have ON and ON is the uh, projection of a vector B on vector A. So we can now write here A and then uh, we have uh, on on is the projection of vector b on vector a right then we have this positive sign and then we have a so we can write it over here and nl this nl right so this nl is the projection of vector c on vector a Again, due to uh, the definition of projection of a vector, right? So NL is the projection of a vector C on vector A. So here we'll write a projection of vector C on vector A. So now let us again consider uh, this diagram, right? So now if we define the dot product of a and uh, vector A and vector B, then A dot B is given by AB cos theta by definition of dot product or the scalar product of two vectors. Now see this quantity that is uh, B cos theta. So B cos theta is the projection of vector B on vector A. So we can write A times uh, projection of vector B on vector A, right? So A dot B can be written as A times projection of vector B on vector A. So let us utilize this definition uh, in this in these two expressions. So here we have A times projection of vector B on vector A. So this quantity is now equal to 
the dot product of vector a and vector b right so here we have a times projection of vector c on vector a right so again applying this property or the or this definition uh, the product of a and projection of vector c on vector a is the dot product of vector a and vector c so here we have uh, a dot uh, c and now we can see that uh, a dot b plus a dot c is our uh, right hand side right so this is how uh, we can uh, prove the distributive law for a uh, dot product by considering the concept of projection of a, a vector on another vector.